Policing officers have been in the south side, other neighborhoods in Pittsburgh all day monitoring these areas. You can see to my left, there's even a couple mounted units. We've been seeing them combing the streets uh, throughout the night. Obviously, this beefed up police presence is intended to handle the heavier traffic than usual. And of course, the heavier drinking that's happening tonight. Pittsburghers making it clear how lucky they feel this weekend to indulge in their favorite things about St. Patrick's Day. Family. Making memories. Green beer. The drinking. You have to stay refreshed. <laughs> this couldn't be even better for Pittsburgh. I'm glad the, the local bars and restaurants are making money. I mean, what other better place to live than Pittsburgh, to be honest with you? Outside Mulaney's Harp and Fiddle in the Strip District, long lines did not bother James Cohan. He still had the whole day ahead of him and anything could happen, if he's lucky, of course. Just down here at the Harp and Fiddle and that, uh, it's been great, you know. I mean, honestly, if it made any better, Kenny Pickett will be down here. Perhaps that's a sighting for somewhere over the rainbow, where you can find those lucky charms. Uh, they're magically delicious. Everybody's after me charms. Whether you're after her charms or up to other shenanigans, Pittsburgh police officers want you to know they're out in force watching for public intoxication, open containers, and drunk driving. I mean, honestly, everyone, hey, drink responsible, you know, tip your bartenders and have a good time in Uber home, guys, okay? Hey, happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Very good advice. Definitely take an Uber, other ride share home. Speaking of Ubers, there are designated locations along East Carson Street in the south side. Uh, police are directing people to in order to reduce vehicle congestion. We're live in the south side tonight. Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.